Happy New Year, Swamp Fam. Who else is so excited for 2018? It's gonna be the greatest year ever. Today is another episode of Swamp Family Mail. So get your sassy clapping hands ready because I've got the mail. The mail! I don't know why I ever think I can sing and clap. Give me those clapping hands. Yes. Okay, I've got no rhythm. I got the mail. The mail! The sassy mail. The sassy mail! I don't know why also we're filming in this angle from this corner. I'm sitting on the floor. Why? New year! New me! Today is gonna be another 90s episode because I left you guys hanging. Y'all already knew that there were so many awesome 90s boxes that we didn't get to last time. And already I have enough Swamp Family 90s boxes we could do this again, but I'm kind of torn. Like, should the next Swamp Family Mail be regular Swamp Family Mail? Then we go back to the 90s mystery boxes. I don't know. So many choices. This first box, I don't think has anything to do with the 90s, but I know you guys are dying to see what is inside of it. It was another one that I left you guys hanging last time. This is the Johnny Depp box. I don't know what it is. It just says, Johnny Depp says, let me out. And then somewhere else on this box, it says Johnny Depp inside. Yes, Johnny Depp enclosed. Enjoy. All right, we'll do. Fly, sing, fly, sing, I'm slicing the box. Don't ever cut with a knife this way. It's just for you two. It's just for humor. But it's it's not even funny. I can't even cut this tape. I'm trying to stab it so I can show it to you. Yes. I'm not an effective stabber. I was just trying to do this. I was trying to pretend like it was a little skewer. I'm using, no. I smell something. Oh my God. Why have I been blessed with this? Oh, and look at his little footsies. <laughs> what are you doing? This is an incredibly amazing, like 10 foot tall Jack Sparrow action figure. This is incredible. Why would you give me this? This is really, this is really much to, oh, power up button. Captain Jack Sparrow. What the? Can you sail under the command of a pirate? Or can you not? This is amazing. I am thrilled. And he comes with some accessories. Oh my God. Does the compass, <gasps> little compass even opens? Oh my God. Now this is just gonna be like a 45 minute video of me playing with my little Johnny Depp action figure. Hold it, hold it, hold it. What? Why would somebody send me all of this? This is too much. Oh, I lost this and I'm so glad I have it back now. It's all the Pirates of the Caribbean jewelry, including the highly realistic Jack Sparrow ring. Look at that and a key. Who is this from? Monique and Maddie. Thank you so much, Monique and Maddie. And now we all know what was inside the Johnny Depp mystery box. Hello there. Hello. Let's keep going. The next thing that we're gonna open, I don't know, this might be 90, blah, 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 blah. this might be 90, <laughs> this might be 90s, this might be not, but it came after I did the whole eBay thing. It says eBay on it. I forgot I did that. Anyway, this envelope comes from Lorna Jane. That is a gorgeous and very unique name. I like it. There's eBay paper also and more eBay stickers. I'm just, I'm just, I'm so excited. Okay, okay, okay. I'm trying to read, but like very quickly. I'm gonna read it later. Okay, I can't read that fast. There's so many words. Okay. What is in this paper? I'm really, I'm living for eBay stationery now. Oh, you know what else I want to do? Somebody tweeted me the other day, Swamp Family member. <sighs> you guys, I've had way too much coffee today. Way too much coffee. But a Swamp Family member tweeted me the other day that there are a bunch of people's diaries for sale on eBay, and now I want to buy one. Look at these, though. <gasps> Lisa Frank bought a stick. Oh my gosh, wait, look. These are like the ones from, I bet that's in the letter. Okay, I have to read the letter, seriously. I'm, I'm just too, there's, there's a reason. Day instantly brightened. I don't know why I'm saying day, it's night. 
It's very dark outside, like three in the morning. I'm glad I actually paused and read the letter now because normally I put all the letters to the side and then once I'm done with the unboxing video, like while I'm importing the footage, I go back and I read all the letters. But I'm glad I stopped because it did, in all fairness, say read letter first on this pet. Yes, read letter first. So the reason why these body stickers, she sent a second set. She's an eBay seller and she had these... She had one set listed. Anyway, I'm just scrambling the story now, but if you guys watch my eBay sent me a 90s mystery box, I said, oh, I think that the PR team from eBay went on eBay and bought authentic things off of eBay. Is anything I'm saying making any sense? Anyway, if you watch that unboxing video, then you probably remembered these body stickers. And she thinks that eBay bought these stickers from her store given the time period of when she listed them and when they were sold. Anyway, it's so great. Now it says open last, so now I can say I followed all the instructions, which normally I don't, heaven help me. Oh, this is amazing. Look at that. She also said that I did say in the video that I was wishing for eBay socks. Look at these. Oh, I'm living. Look at that eBay socks. Ooh, they're even the kind I like, like the little ankle socks. Oh, thank you. Okay, oh, look, this one's starting to open itself. And it has a lot of words on the outside. Alien, Powerpuff Girls, Goosebumps, Disney, Sims. Oh, I just saw the other day. I don't remember what I was looking at, but original sim life from the 90s. It was like a guidebook and it had a picture of like a rhinoceros and a I don't know, it was like you could make your own like freakish animals and I was obsessed with that. I'm kind of sad that I never got into like later Sims games because I never did, but like that was like my first computer game and I just sat there all day playing that. So this comes from Alexandria, no, Alexandra. Oh, oh you know I have to save this sticker because I always make this joke. I think it's even Lisa Frank and it's a seal of approval sticker. You guys know my lame seal jokes where I'm like, it's a safety seal. It's a seal of approval. Like an actual like ARP ARP seal. And look at that. It's the seal of approval. Can you see that? A card to read for later. A scarf to look at now. Hello scarf, you're gorgeous. We've got bubble wrap, many bubble wrap that I cannot pop because it's not the popable kind. Oh my lord. What? is this? I'm so happy. What is dream life? What is this? This looks so amazing. I think you plug it into a TV. I bet that this is like a game that's like a remote. <gasps> I bet this is like a television game. You guys, I wish I was smart enough to think of a way <laughs> to like show you guys. I'm gonna like research and see if I can find a YouTube video of anybody playing Dream Life because that looks like something I would be so into. Oh my gosh. You guys don't understand how much I love this. I think they have this on Netflix now but this is VHS so you know that it's real 90s goodness but I love this episode of Goosebumps which is the haunted mask. Oh my gosh. I love him. This is so adorable. You guys, like seriously, I have all this alien stuff from Toy Story and I love them and my dad loves them. So sometimes I'm like, do I give them to my dad? Do I, do I just be, be a little brat and keep them all for myself? I think I'm gonna keep this little one because I have such an affinity for plushies. What is this? Oh my gosh, I never even had this. This is so awesome. It's a creepy crawler sticker album, alphabet, uh, stickers, slimy slogans, fun bugs, creepy cartoons. Oh my God, he's like stuck under a toilet. Okay, that's the one we're gonna look at. Grubs Gallery and Bug Parade. This is so cute. Look at all these bugs on the inside. So each one of these albums is chock full of bug stickers. They're doing, wait, is he just shooting stuff out of his butt? He is, very impressive, Mr. Bug. I feel like I'm gonna have to like convert a whole room 
in my house to just be like a 90s room how cool would that be if i painted it like clarissa explains it all and did like checkerboard paint at the bottom so good what was the monkey's name from powderpuff girls powerpuff girls why can't i think of his name right now what is this act one now playing everywhere oh is this a game let's see if i can make y'all guess something everybody's gonna get this it's it's like it's a thing that just it's relevant right now. Scene two, Joe Pesci says, all the great ones leave their mark. We're the wet bandits. That actually seems like really fun. You guys know my friend Chris. He loves like movie trivia games. So we're all gonna have to play it. Oh my God, I remember this. Oh, my friend's gonna die. The Berenstein Bears and the Mansion Mystery. Do you guys remember the Berenstein Bears? Look at him, he looks so grumpy. I love it, I love it. We also have a pile of magical Lisa Frank stickers. Oh, I like these turtles, which is crazy because real live living turtles freak me out, but I love like illustrations of turtles. Thank you so much, Alexandra. Let's open this one from Brittany. And she actually contacted me on Twitter because she said that she forgot to write that it was a 90s box somewhere on the box, but I asked her for whatever name was on the box and she told me on Twitter and this was her name. And so now we know that it's part of the 90s box. So once again, I'm not telling you guys to send me anything, but if you have 90s junk laying around that you wanna get rid of and you're planning on sending something to Swamp Family Mail anyway, um, if it's something that's for a 90s unboxing, just somewhere on the box or on the envelope, right? 90s on it. And cards. Ooh, so this, oh my gosh, wait, okay, I have to put this down immediately. Oh my gosh, I used to draw this every freaking day. It's telling me what's in the box. I want it to stay a mystery, so we're just gonna start. Oh my god. <laughs> I have always wanted one of these. It's like the one toy that I missed in my childhood that I never had. It is a freaking Game Boy Advance, and it's translucent. Oh my gosh, and I was just talking about The Sims. And look at that. It's got The Sims 2 pets loaded inside of it. That's amazing. I never had a Game Boy. I never had a Game Boy Advance. I never had any of these things, but I'm very excited. Thank you so much. Oh, very appropriate because I'm wearing my Spice Girls shirt today. I think it's time for me to find a new one. I was like recently on the quest on eBay and Depop and I'm gonna keep looking for the perfect one. I wish I could find another one that's like all disgusting like this, but like maybe not this disgusting because this is just too disgusting. It's just too disgusting. But look at that. We have a Spice Girls. Look at that. Oh, I'm loving it. Look, we have two Spice Girls postcards. Comment down below what Spice Girl was your favorite Spice Girl because Posh Spice was always my favorite. Even though I feel like now I would probably like Baby Spice more just for like the style. So cute. Marilyn Manson sticker in here. Creepy. So creepy. Um, I feel like he's probably actually like a nice old man though, right? The Good Burger book. I am freaking mind blown. I love good burger i still to this day love good burger and it's like the flubber book last time like how i told you guys i love how these have like actual glossy pictures inside of the book i loved all that i loved keenan and kel i loved good burger i loved it all what okay this is the kind of stuff that just literally touches my heart bunnies 90 mix bunnies 90s mix volume one bunnies spice girls mix Thank you for the mixtapes. Um, I am literally living, I am living for this. You guys don't even understand. It was like such a part of my life to make people mixtapes and mix CDs. And here it is, here it is. I literally, oh, I'm ready to just get in a car, go to Starbucks and listen to my 90s mix. Also, Nirvana, never mind. This is so great. Backstreet Boys, we have a pile of Pokemon cards. Maybe I can find a Pikachu in here. I'm always looking for Pikachu. I don't know why he sticks out to me. I feel like that's the most basic Pokemon to like. Seal. I love him too. He looks kind of troubled though. He's like, oh God, a pond. Do I get in it? What? Shut up. Oh my 
god i feel like i remember kind of seeing these it's more stuff i never had look unofficial sporty spice in my pocket unofficial baby spice in my pocket oh my god oh this is just the greatest this is just the greatest freaking look at ginger spice it's all like little facts okay date of birth oh girl your birthday's coming up 21st of january 1976 Look at that. Wait, she's five foot two. She's one inch shorter than me. Now we know that. I can't get over it. I can't get over it. Ooh, it feels like a mug. Got a handle. It's a mug. No. Oh my God. I had this when I was a kid. I had this. I had this. And then somewhere along the way, I lost it. It's more of the magical. I swear. Oh, this was McDonald's. I was like, was this McDonald's? Was this Burger King? You guys, this is when like Batman Forever came out. I'm gonna leave the paper inside because I think you'll be able to see the details better. Wasn't it Batman Forever with the Riddler where Jim Carrey was the Riddler? Oh my god, and this was like my favorite cup too and I would drink chocolate milk out of it all the time because all I wanted to be when I was a kid was Jim Carrey, okay? We have some authentic 90s enamel jewelry. This is magical. It is Ying Yang's, but it's kind of like a mother of pearl enamel. The lighting is probably terrible from down here. And then we have Tweety Bird earrings so cute i feel like looney tunes just like was at its heyday in the 90s and then we have this one which is very lucky let's start off 2018 with some luck it is a mother of pearl enamel shamrock bracelet i'm loving it look at that look at that look at that look at that oh my god i had one of these this is like spooky because it's like something so random i don't know why i just said spooky but do you know when you have something from your childhood that's literally impossible to describe like how would you describe this um it's like a bumpy bouncy rock ball that has a bunch of colors mixed inside of it but i had this thing and i loved it it's like a bouncy ball but it's like a crazy one right because when you bounce it let me see if i can show you when you bounce it it just like oh yep yeah, yep yeah, there it went all the way back there did you see it oh my lord this is like the pinnacle of 90s fashion it is a girl power spice girls official slingback backpack look at that except for i can't figure out how to wear it <laughs> but look at that look at that okay i'm ready i'm ready to take on the world with my girl power thank you so much Brittany. that was a truly truly magical box i think i just ripped my shirt a little bit more let's open this one because it says actual 90s mystery box and it has a bunch of cute illustrations power rangers look at that does that say mixtape oh my god it says i made you a mixtape did you this comes from riley and i love her last name on this box i don't know if it's real or fake though so i'm not gonna like just out somebody's personal info -fo like that but riley i'm talking to you right now i love your last name slicing slicing oh my gosh what okay this is really cool i don't even know if we're gonna have <sighs> we still have three more boxes i feel like this video has been really long already maybe i should like split it up into more parts parts of parts because all of this is numbered i'm gonna try and show you guys oh, look it's numbered 11 final there's 11 little mini things in here i'm trying to find number one i found number two i found some booble wrap small soldiers okay at first i thought it was like america seems like i remember this and at the same time i don't i'm telling you guys i gotta get a vhs player so that i can relive my wonderful memories that you guys are sending me i seem to remember this dude what year did this come out give me a date Give me a date. DreamWorks 1998. I should have remembered this. <laughs> Number two looks like a mug. Is it a mug? Oh, I never had this one, but it's so cool. McDonald's 1993. Look at this, you guys. Let me shove some paper inside of it so that you can see the design because it's another one of those like really cool clear mugs. And this one has a bone handle because it's from the Flintstones. That's so cool. It just has like leaf impressions and then it says the Flintstones on that side it's got the good old golden arches that's really cool i wish you guys could feel this texture right now because it's nice number three. Oh, is this what i think it is oh my god i think i think it's what i think i think it's what i think and i think i'm about to just slice open my hand with a knife 
don't recommend is a jelly jar glass and I never even had these it's a Pokemon jelly jar glass did anybody else just literally live for the jelly to be done just so you could have the freaking glass you don't even want to eat the contents you just want the jelly jar glass okay because that was my life I used to have some that were the ones that I remember the most were like World Wildlife Federation or something they were like little animals and stuff and I loved those and I don't I think I think my parents just threw them away one day because I would have kept them you know I would have kept them sugar daddy flavored lip balm I'm loving it and I'm looking forward to reading all these little notes. Each object has a little note on the back that tells me more about it, um, why they selected it. So cute. Number five comes in a bag. <gasps> Look at this. Oh my gosh. It's a little Sailor Moon necklace. Oh, I am loving it. And I love these like fabric chokers from the 90s you guys probably see me wear that like alien one all the time it's just like that and it has a plastic alien on it these are so cute look at these little earrings in here they have gold hearts with little roses on the front oh my gosh i so remembered these do you guys remember these bracelets that were like different colors and different crystals they all had different meanings they're like pre loci bracelets um but these were so awesome oh my god i probably had like five of them and i loved them so much and i wore them until all the little elastics got stretched out but they were like the thing to have this looks like a freaking lp Ooh, i'm excited who was this oh my god is this stevie nicks fashion freaking icon can i please have this outfit this is so amazing what year did this come out because this does look very 90s Ooh, 1989 on the cusp seven comes in a little x files folder Ooh, look at that we have all these pokemon oh my gosh look at how awesome this is it's a poster and everyone was trying to collect all 150 stickers on this poster so when you got the sticker you would stick it over like this little do you see what i'm saying like these the stickers there these are missing it that is so awesome there's a whole letter of explanation on here on the front too i'm loving it okay number eight we all know what that is it would be so amazing to do like a clueless lookbook or something I'm living for that idea that I'd never be able to accomplish without lots of help. But look at that. It's clueless. I love this movie so much. Doesn't everybody? No freaking way. Oh my gosh. I was just the other day wishing for some of these. Except for I don't remember how to open these things. These are actual games. I hope you're not going to kill me for doing this. But I wanted some of these so bad diskettes. Do you guys remember? It's Doom. Or like kind of if you read it that way, it's mood. What I really wanted to use these for was coasters. Are you okay with that? What number are we? Nine? Ten? Oh my god. I was just the other day wishing for this. This was the first CD that I ever asked for in my life. And for some reason I was like really embarrassed to tell my parents like the kind of music I was interested in. I, d I don't know why that was just like super embarrassing to me. But this is the first CD that I finally like uh got up the courage oh my gosh look baby spice is the best we have a baby spice fan this was the first cd that i worked up the courage to ask my mom and dad for that i said that i wanted that was like my music um and i still oh my god i just loved this ring it just looked like a thumb ring i thought it was so cool we have 11 which is in this big santa sack oh my god this is too amazing to be true you guys are too incredibly sweet to me oh my god i am ready for this it smells so good too oh my god is that creepy that i like like i was just saying this like one of my friends for christmas the other day got me an action figure and it had that plastic smell and for some reason i just love like the smell of fresh plastic <laughs> There's nothing healthy about that, but look at these. Oh my God, I'm gonna live in these this summer. They are black glitter jelly sandals. It's just the epitome of everything 90s fashion. I am like so in love. Okay, Riley, 
Thank you so much. I'm just like literally just so touched. Spontaneous random ending, but I did not even realize how long I filmed yesterday. For Sassy Swamp Family Mail, 90s edition, I filmed raw footage for like over an hour and 40 something minutes. It's not condensable into like a normal watchable link. I mean, maybe if this was banana peppers, but it's not, it's Graveyard Girl. I thought it would be better for everybody if I split this mail video up into two videos. So there's gonna be this one today, which hopefully you've watched till now. If you did, <laughs> scoops. And then uh, the next one I think is gonna be tomorrow. I don't know if I wanna put another type of video in between or just put part two. I might just put part two tomorrow. I don't know, but so far I have edited this video down to like whatever you just watched. I don't know, 25, 26 minutes. And I'm not even halfway through with the raw footage yet. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is just like never ending because I feel like there's so many awesome things. Like each one of these boxes was just so carefully and lovingly put together. I feel like you guys can see that every single time. All the things that are numbered, so many memories that are being shared, so much nostalgia, so many things that I end up sharing with you guys. And I feel like if I just like cut it out and was like, look at this, look at this, look at this. Like it's just, it's not like the same, you know what I'm saying? Like I could edit it like that, but why would I wanna do that? I've never, I don't think I've ever split up a video before that I intended to be one video. So I don't know, we'll try this out and you guys can tell me below if you love it or if you hate it but i just feel like the normal like kind of like watch time of the video is like 20 minutes so uh it's been it's been 20 minutes so i will see you guys tomorrow with part two thank you guys and i love y'all so much and the real outro is in the next video so you know i don't know i don't know scoops